Hey everyone, it's Rob here at Game, Game Dev, Dev Journey. Journey. And today I wanted to talk about some resources to help you to learn and master the Godot game engine. I'm specifically focusing on written resources. Now I know that seems a bit old school because we're in the information age and there are so many courses and YouTube videos and other places where we can learn from. But a textbook still has some advantages over new mediums such as being written by a trusted and credentialed source and also being a physical object which you can interact with, amongst others. Now, it's not easy to find a book written about the Godot engine, but Pact Publishing has two rather good ones. The first is Godot Game Engine Development Project, written by Chris Bradfield from Kids Can Code. Chris has extensive experience in a number of roles in the game dev industry and is an excellent teacher as anyone who has watched his YouTube channel can tell you. Chris is also part of the Godot documentation team so you can rest assured that he's a source to be trusted. The book is laid out very well. I've gone through the whole thing myself and although I did find a few errors and omissions here and there it was not anything which prevented me from learning or understanding the topic. Chapter 1 is the standard introduction where you'll learn what a game engine is in general and then more about Godot specifically and how to install it and so on. The real fun starts from chapter 2 because from there onwards each chapter is dedicated to a different game development project. The first of these is Coin Dash, a little 2D game to introduce you to the basic mechanics and structure of Godot, specifically the node architecture. In chapter 3, you build Escape the Maze, a top-down game which teaches you about tile maps and grid-based movement, inheritance and sprite animations. Chapter 4 has you making an asteroid clone to learn about the different physics bodies and collisions. And in chapter 5, you make a platform game to learn about kinematic bodies, animation states and parallax backgrounds. By this stage, you should know all that you need to know about creating 2D games in Godot. And so the final project is an introduction to 3D with a little mini golf game where you will work with meshes, lighting and camera control. I can highly recommend this book to anyone who wants to learn how to make games using a modern engine. And for those who are new to Godot and want somewhere to start learning, this book will give you a solid foundation. Once you have your foundation, or you want to move beyond 2D games in Godot, you can take a look at game development with Blender and Godot. This is written by Kumsal Oboz, the founder of Viroid Games Studio, the creators of Mead Crafter, and now working on Urban Farming Simulator. This book is a bit of a two for one bonus as it'll teach you how to create low poly models in Blender and the workflow of getting those models into Godot to create your 3D game. In fact, the first chapter deals with just that, creating the low poly models in Blender. Chapter two will teach you all about materials and shaders and how to build these for your models. Chapter three takes you through the process of adding and creating textures for the models. Chapter four focuses on adjusting cameras and lighting. And chapter 5 demonstrates how to set up for animation and rigging. Chapter 6 begins the workflow of moving our models from Blender to Godot and this chapter shows you how to export them. The next chapter, 7, explains how to import the models back into Godot. Chapter 8 helps us get our audio assets ready for the game that we're going to create and chapter 9 sees us delve into level design where we set up our 3D scene in Godot. Of course, lighting makes everything better and chapter 10 will take us through adding lights and shadows to our level. Now that we have a level, we can get started on the user interface and chapter 11 will help us to do this. Chapter 12 guides us through how to interact with the world using camera and character controllers, while in chapter 13, we start to wrap things up by finishing the sound design and animations. Chapter 14 concludes the project and we get to export our game so that others can play it. 
If you want a well-paced introduction to Godot, leading into a solid understanding of 3D fundamentals, then these are the two books which I would recommend.